terror attack in Russia exposes Putin's weakness, he loses control of power. A recent terrorist attack at the Crocus City Hall demonstrated the unstable position of Russian President Vladimir Putin and how Russia's security apparatus is unprepared for such challenges, reports The Times. According to the media, the sequence of events unfolding in Russia demonstrates how Putin is gradually losing control. For example, on February the 16th, Alexei Navalny, who was a competitor to Putin, died. In early March, Russians held a silent mourning for Navalny, whom some considered a leader. On March the 7th, the United States warned of a terrorist threat in Russia, but Putin ignored it, claiming it was an attempt to reduce voter turnout during the election that he won with a suspiciously high result of 88%. The article says the events show Putin gradually losing control over events in Russia, noting that the war in Ukraine has deprived him of a narrow vision, while Russians who once imagined him as a trusted leader now fear for their own future. The Times outlined three possible scenarios after the terrorist attack in Russia. Russia may present the attack as an operation under a false flag to fuel public anger against Ukraine and legitimize general mobilization. Putin may use the attack as a means to freeze the war against Ukraine and focus on the war against terrorism. Putin has already lost control, allowing internal conflicts to prevail. According to the media, the return of Islamist terror to Russia was both predictable and ignored. Putin's intervention in Syria to support Bashar al-Assad has earned him not many friends. Central Asian republics also feel his weakness. Putin will intensify intelligence sharing on ISIS with Turkey, China, Iran and North Korea, the Times notes. Ukraine announced new landings of Ukrainian military personnel in Crimea. The head of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budinov, has announced new operations by the Ukrainian military in the temporarily occupied Crimea. In response to the journalists' question about whether there are any new landings being prepared in Crimea, Budinov replied affirmatively, yes, they are being prepared and they will happen. Soon it will be warm, so we will continue. Crimea will be returned, emphasized the head of the main directorate of intelligence. Budinov stated that Russian occupiers do not abandon plans to once again seize the Ukrainian Zeminyi island, regularly launching missile and bomb attacks. They regularly carry out missile and bomb strikes. There has been information several times and we have seen its confirmation about conducting a similar operation as we once did. Budanov said, however, according to him, it is impossible to do so. But they couldn't do it because knocking out the garrison from the island is already unrealistic, emphasized the head of the main directorate of intelligence. The main directorate of intelligence fighters conducted several ground operations in the temporarily occupied Crimea. For example, on August the 24th, 2023, reconnaissance troops managed to carry out a sortie near the settlement of Mayak on the Tarkankut Cape. A battle took place within the framework of the main Directorate of Intelligence special operation involving naval assets and aviation. In turn, Russian sources began to invent their own version of the so-called Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups allegedly destroyed. In reality, at least 30 occupiers were destroyed and four high-speed boats were damaged as part of the special operation. Furthermore, on October the 4th, Ukrainian special forces again landed in the occupied Crimea and inflicted a fiery defeat on the Russian occupiers. It is noted that a fierce battle took place as part of this operation, resulting in significant losses among Russian soldiers.
machen muss. <lacht>